Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a basement retaining wall in which we will calculate the maximum movement that is on the base of the wall and the footing is already been has a mat foundation. Then we have to design a section, how much the section width is there. We will calculate the main reinforcement in the inner face and the front face of the stem and we will check for the shear and then we will go for the deflection check and finally the horizontal reinforcement will be calculated and this basement retaining wall will be designed right so let's start what the problem we have we have the problem like a retaining wall is required to retain a earth of 3.75 meter height right this is 3.57 meter high and the clear height between the floors is 6.1 meter we are in the basement this is the basement floor this is the ground floor level and the clear height is being given this is 6.2 meter right this is capital H and this small h where the natural ground level is there this is 3.7 meter so backfill soil has a unit weight is given in 19 kilo per meter cube and the angle of internal friction is 30 degree of the soil the such are due to the vehicular movement of is 10 kilo per meter square right this is the natural ground level and a live load of the vehicular movement will be there because it's a building structure where the basement wall is needs to be designed but outer face of the building structure there is a soil where the vehicle movement will be there the live load movement will be there due to which the surcharge will be created right the surcharge value is given as 10 km per meter square spc is 150 km per meter square use m25 and fe 41 let's start right clear height between the floors is given as 6.2 meter h backfill is 3.7 meter you have to put your data in, in pink cells only, right? So, uh, unit weight is given as 19 kN per meter cube. Uh, phi, that is internal friction, angle of internal friction is 30 degree. So, I'll be any capacity is 150 kN per meter square. WS is 10 kN per meter square. Uh, FCK, we are going for 25 and FY is 415, right? So, now look. For moment calculation, that is the earth pressure coefficient, Ka has been calculated by this formula. This That is 0.33 is being calculated. Pressure at the bottom due to soil. Due to this soil, soil pressure will be at the bottom is 23.43 kN per meter square by this formula, right? And the pressure at the bottom due to surcharge, and th that is due to the vehicular movement, right? So this is being due to surcharge is 3.33 kN per meter square. So finally, letter load is being calculated by this formula that is 43.35 kN per meter due to soil pressure, right? And letter load due to surcharge is being calculated as 12.33, right? So finally, we are going to design a moment calculation for which we need to find a AST, right? The main steel. So PA is due to soil pressure will act at h by 3 distance and ps will act at h by 2 so finally the design movement comes out to be 114 right so uh, step 2 is the design of the section in general we choose a thousand mm for the design purpose coefficient for fe415 is 4.138 so finally by this formula d required is been calculated as a 182 so we assume the d required to 200 mm according have to choose the greater size from this one right so clear cover we have chosen 30 and assume bar dia is 20 mm so finally the overall depth overall depth is come out to be 240 mm right so next step is the calculation of the main reinforcement already been calculated pt required is calculated ast required is calculated minimum ast required has been calculated it should be taken as from the maximum above two so maximum dia is d by 8 that is 30 so we are choosing the dia as 20 mm for the main reinforcement so finally the spacing is being calculated so pt provided is being calculated as 0.98 percent and pt required was 0.94 it should be greater than the required pt right so the main reinforcement so concept is that the if the soil is having a pressure on this this phase that is the inner phase so you have to provide the main reinforcement as a vertical reinforcement in this phase because the tension will be generated on this phase only 
so the main reinforcement that is 20 mm at the rate 160 mm center to center will be provided vertical direction on the inner face only right so check for shear then that, that is shape in shear so the how the shear will be calculated shear will be critical at the distance d from this support here is the support is the mat footing below this vertical uh, retaining wall so at a distance d d and d we have assumed that d is 200 mm that is h minus d h minus d below the top edge of the backfill this is h is the backfill it will act as a h minus d distance that is z 3.5 meter it will act on top of the edge top of the backfill right so cr force is being calculated as that much 75 kN by this formula the formula has been already written so nominal shear stress has been, been calculated as vu by b into d so this is 0.38 newton per mm square from table 19 we have to take the tau c value if tau c is greater than tau, tau v then it is safe in shear so uh, this is the table for interpolation we have calculated as 0.98 the pt provided this is being here so we have to choose this, this comes under 0.75 to 1 if you are changing the value then it will will be changed right so you have to take a distance from 0.75 to 1 check for deflection this is safe in deflection you have to know how the deflection comes l effective which is being given by the is code that is l effective capital l effective for this whole height of the retaining wall so allowable deflection is to be calculated from this l effective by 250 that comes out to be 25.6 m that is deflection is allowed right but actual deflection will be created by this soil and the surcharge so this is the actual height on which the deflection is being calculated so the height will be calculated as 3.9 meter that is h backfill is 3.7 and cap small d that is the effective that is 200 mm so 3.9 meter so formula for actual deflection is this much that is comes out to be 23.99 in our case so hence it is safe if the allowable deflection is greater than the actual deflection then it is safe now the last step is calculation of horizontal reinforcement bar so area of horizontal reinforcement this is the formula for hori total horizontal reinforcement on the inner face and the outer face also right so that is being calculated but you have to note that the, as the temperature changes occur at the front face of the basement wall so two-third of the horizontal reinforcement this this much two-third is to be provided in the front face this is the front face temperature effects will be more in this front face only right so two-third of the horizontal reinforcement is to be provided on the front face remaining one-third is to be provided on the inner face right so two-third has been calculated as 1984 so you have to choose your data if you are choosing 8 mm so you have to provide the 8 mm 150 mm center to center for the vertical reinforcement at the front face is to be same as the horizontal reinforcement right so the both ways you have to provide the 8 mm 150 mm center to center at the inner face ast required is one third of the horizontal reinforcement that is come out to be 992 mm square you have we if you are assuming the 8 mm dia so hence the horizontal reinforcement in the inner phase is being calculated as 8 mm 320 mm center to center main reinforcement is already been calculated 20 mm 160 mm center to center this has been calculated you have to change your data according to your situation this is the basement retaining wall we have designed over here the situation is always be the same you have to put your data according to your desired problem right so if you like this video please subscribe this channel and for the actual sheets please contact me on my whatsapp number on my mail id which has been given in description box thanks for watching